Today is January 27th. This is Gold Robotics and a lot of mechanical progress today. We did some driving earlier today, like at school, but um, but today was mainly about trying to figure out how to get the sprocket in the air, which we figured out. Okay, yeah. so I will show what we got. So if you can hold this while I get the other thing, because I gotta get the other thing. Oh yeah, you gotta get this side. Hello. Man, Reese, they don't want to see you. <laughs> I know, I know, no one wants to see you. So, Sam designed his last time, right? Oh, wait, I should uh, get on the side. Oh, never mind, never mind. Sorry. So, is this is actually kind of a funny story. Can you, yeah, there you go. Okay, good that. Okay, so funny, oh crap. Not really funny, because it's time. Anyways, <laughs> we got, uh, so we're like, all right, what if we can put it up with a piston? And so our whole idea was we push it up with this, right? It goes up. Right, and then it, and then it ratchets down, pushes it up more, and then ratchets down. I don't know if you can kind of see that, that concept, but we're like, well, anyways, we're like, that's not, uh, it wasn't strong enough. So if we made it high enough torque to where it could do it all the way, we'd have to fire the pneumatic, what was it, like six times, seven yeah. times? And I was like, that's so much air that we just waste uh, on this. However, um, Clayton is a genius. <laughs> this guy. Um, because he was like, well, what if we just combine them, do what we did last time, and when we need that little bit of push, we hit the pneumatic. So that's what we did, and we tested it out, and it works. It shot the whole thing off. So plen <laughs> plenty of stuff to get it up. Um, so hopefully that's not a problem anymore. Um, then after that, cause that pretty much took a, a long time. And then after that, we, I've been doing the, um, we're doing the rotator rotator. Ratchet. Yeah. And then, um, so tomorrow that leaves us with getting this, uh, rope sorted out so where it doesn't shoot off the top, uh, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, figuring out a way to manage the chain, which hopefully doesn't come too hard, but that's the only thing that's like, I don't know. And then, uh, intake. I want to make that a little bit solid. Um, so Clayton's about to leave, but I think we might stay just a little, the rest of us might stay just a little bit longer to finish some of the ring guard stuff. Oh, oh, and Audi's ring guard stuff. I, I don't, I can't even remember if we showed this on the bot, but look how nice that looks, right? The gold. The gold. Ooh, the gold. And then the ring guards in the front. The gold. Oh, okay, that way. Gold. Yeah. And then, uh, so that's cool. And then we also got ring guards up here, which are these little standoffs, which is a throwback to old design. Mm -hmm. But this one I tightened with a, not Teflon. I might do that later. But, um, but make sure to tighten real tight, not just with hands, but with getting a wrench. But we might put Teflon in it later now that you say that. Um, but then that one just keeps it off the wheels uh on that side because we didn't really need as much on that but anyways um yeah just a couple more things we got to do um competition is saturday and today is thursday so again we are last minute but that's just how it goes so uh one more thing oh, Clayton yes. is working oh, yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. autons for my robot trying to get him more solid and He's been, he's been working over there, yeah. but we we haven't really been worrying about it. I've guard qualified, so I'm just helping out uh, Bobby right now. I also dry coated a skills run for Bobby, but we still haven't found numbers for it yes. yet. So. Yeah, we have autons and skills dry coated. However, um, that's just a tomorrow project. <laughs> Procrastination. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. Um, anyways, that's it for today. Um, so we'll see y'all. Next time, tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.